I think that Peter just has, is earnest and has no bullshit, and I think Deadpool admires that, because everybody else is like, mm, I got the stuff to do the thing. And Peter's like, hey, yeah, I'd love to help out. Here's my philosophy about violence, is that it is uh, silly and it's a waste of time. So what I'll do is I'll try to avoid the violence, okay? And that might not be flashy, but then nobody's going to the emergency room, okay? And that can save a lot of time and money, which I think a lot of people don't worry about when they're a superhero, oh, blow up this, blow up that. You know, with me, uh, I'm not gonna be dipping into petty cash or any nonsense like that. It's genuinely fun, it's genuinely raunchy, and every single person involved in it is obviously having a tremendous amount of fun, and that translates to the screen. So, yeah, I mean, it's a labor of love. Deadpool is just fresh. It's now. It's what the millennials want. Ryan is a very good actor, so when it calls for gravitas, when he has to be hurt, when he's really falling in love with um, Vanessa, that you believe that. And then when he's just saying one filthy one-liner after another, you believe that too. And there are actors who could do one of those things, but to be able to do those two together is a genuinely rare skill. They didn't phone it in, you know, and you can do that for a sequel. Sometimes people do that. But this absolutely is, it's gut-wrenching, some of the things that happen in it. You very sincerely care about everybody involved in it. So it is a solid script. Like, if this were, it, it won't be, I'm assuming, but if it were a play or a book, it would still be good.